Hey everybody, and welcome to the next map that I'm going to play, which is Halo Blood Gulch. Now the reason why I'm doing this is of course because the uh, Halo Master Chief Collection was recently released on PC, or at least with the uh, very first game Halo Reach, and that just inspired me to do a Halo mod for um, Battlefront 2. I did review this a long time ago, and personally I always really love it when they are trying, or people trying, total conversion mods. Uh, and being e bring existing properties or IPs to a different game. Uh, Arma is a great example of this as well, where you have mods like Starship Troopers, Halo, but also Star Wars, and basically bring um, franchises that you know and love uh, to other games with new gameplay. For example, uh, though this brings some Halo stuff, like of course the units, the weapons, uh, what it brings from the Battlefront perspective is a larger scale. Nowadays Halo games have some larger game modes, but back in the day they certainly did not, and so uh, this was actually a larger battle than you could have in the vanilla game. Now in terms of what it offers though, it is pretty light though. I don't believe that there are any vehicles, so all you have to uh, do with are the units, and as you can see here with the UNSC troopers, there's not a whole lot there. Um, there's a sniper. You cannot go first person, at least not with these UNSC troopers. I will actually also change to the elites because I think they're a little bit more interesting. Also, that looks like they have more than just two versions. They even have the cloaking. And of course, this is the Blood Gulch map, one of the best multiplayer maps ever made. But it is, of course, kind of Blood Gulch light because it's not the exact. Or do they have the cave here? No. If I'm not mistaken, the original has like a cave here. The opposite side actually has this. So instead of making the cave, it looks like they made both areas with like the rocky path around the uh, the canyon oh oh so I recently actually talked about a map where it was Red Sun's uh, attack on the, yeah on the Star Destroyer and why uh, you should never in a map have only two spawn points this is exactly that if you lose your one spawn point, you have no way of defending, and that is exactly the case here. And what that ends up doing is matches can be very, very short. I mean, we just got defeated. I mean, this is a match that lasted three minutes, and it could la could have lasted a lot longer. So that is definitely something that will take uh, points off. Let's try it again. Mm. Now actually going to be as the Covenant. Okay, not a whole lot of units, but we have some. So again, in terms of the looks, in terms of replicating the Halo feel, uh, I think it is very successful. I do know that there are some viewers who don't like it if they, uh, like, who wish they will stay in the Star Wars lane. I think it definitely works best if you stay in the lane what it's supposed to. But as an artist, I always appreciate it when people think out of the box. Um, you know, one of the most impressive things yet with, um, for example, something like Arma, is the dinosaur mod that adds raptors to a first-person serious military game. If you were to ask me what I find the most impressive, like, total conversion thing here... Uh, and it's been years, years since I played this, and I definitely want to do another review on it someday. Uh, but that's the Final Fantasy X mod for this game, which is absolutely insane. Oh dear god. So with the Elites you also cannot change to first person. They have some more interesting weapons. Now that I actually know that there are only two spawn points, I'm definitely not going to uh, capture on the spawn points. I do actually think that the official name of this map is like it's in beta. 
But I don't think it's been updated for years, so I think it's like abandoned. There are other mo uh, Halo maps and mods out there, if I'm not mistaken. I do remember doing at least another one. And some that, one that actually might have also had Spartans. I think, though, you can see this here in the previous thing. I think the elites are quite in a in an a unfair advantage. You can see we're kind of dominating around that area. I mean, look at the damage they're doing. I'm not even firing. Yeah, no, this is... Ah, it sucks. It's all visually very impressive. But then when you get to the technical side of things, it needs a lot of uh, changing. I'm actually going to suicide here. Kill a lot of my own, but hopefully that will give the UNSC some time to actually get back. They have all the all the weapons, so they have the plasma pistol, they have the needler. Of course they have the plasma sword. Oh. Ah, that looks cool though. What I think would work really well is just, again, add more spawn points uh, so that units will spread out a little more. You will have more fun exploring all the units. UNSC definitely needs more um, variety. And again, I know this won't happen because, like I said, I think it's been years since it got updated, so I think it's abandoned. But, you know, having at least two more units on their side would make it more fair. Uh, the elites are definitely overpowered. I realize what they're trying to do is replicate the shields that they have. But it's not very fun when one side is very powerful. Though we did see that when I tried the sniper as a UNSC, I did, um, if I hit an elite, I did one hit them. So it's not like the, the elites are invincible. Come on, kill me here. Come on, you can do it. Nope, no, we cannot. I mean, the effects are great too. The needler, you really see like the pins go, uh, the homing pins. I assume that the plasma pistol, you can actually um, charge. Oh, for those um, who are wondering when the Mandalorian review will come, uh, I will do that probably tomorrow or the day after, because uh, I was going to do it today, but I realized that, well, tomorrow a new episode comes out, so I might as well just take that one along. Look at that, it's really powerful, actually, oh my goodness. I mean, it's very fun to play as the elites and just see all the different weapons. It's just the UNSC that's a bit boring. Oh? Oh, in that case. I'm out of ammo. And now I cannot respond. Is that what I'm... Nope, I can. The command post is now under hostile control. Uh, let's stick with it neither. I mean, again, the match lasts a little bit longer now, but I think you can see that I'm not really doing my best to actually go and capture the command post. It wasn't until they captured ours that I was like, okay, now I'm going in. I mean, they are homing too. It's really good. Copy that. 
I'm pretty sure we kind of got the gist of it though. So it's weird. So again, I love the aesthetics and what they tried to do here to replicate it, but it is quite rough around the edges. There's definitely a lot to love here, but there is also a lot to be improved. And I think it's a shame that it got uh, abandoned, especially with uh, things like TX-130s and whatever already having like hover tanks. It would be super easy to add things like ghosts and other vehicles. But anyway, guys, that is it. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to let me know any recommendations or requests for maps or mods you want to see on the channel. And I'll see you guys next time.